One person was shot and killed in St. Catharines last night and another critically injured. And late this afternoon, the suspect was still on the run. Al Sweeney has the story. Police investigators were on the scene throughout the day with evidence markers at the apartment unit where the shooting took place. The shots echoed through the neighborhood Saturday night. Three shots, three shots right here, not because. I'm scared, okay? I'm scared, I'm shocked, okay? Because when I see so many police cars there, I was thinking, what has happened? Police got the call shortly after 9.30 to this building on St. Paul Street West in St. Catharines. When they arrived, they discovered two adults, a man and a woman, uh, with injuries that were consistent with gunshot wounds. Unfortunately, the male was pronounced deceased at the scene. The female was taken to hospital. She remains in hospital in a stable but critical uh, condition with life-threatening injuries. Police brought in the canine and emergency units to search the neighborhood. Friends of the man who was shot say he was a farm worker originally from Jamaica, but he had been working here in Niagara for years. Yeah, Terrible think? tragedy. Horrible. Right. Devastated. Right. Really devastated. They say the man who was killed was the boyfriend of the woman who was shot. Right. I've known them probably seven, eight years. Right. What, what were they like? Good people? Or? Very nice people, both of them. I was shocked. We still can't get over it. And I hope she's okay. Friends say the shooting involved a former boyfriend. Although the suspect was still on the loose today, Police didn't see a danger to the public. Detectives do believe that the suspect is armed and dangerous. Uh, they do believe that this was a targeted incident and that there's no ongoing risk to public safety. We are asking anyone who may have information to please come forward and contact detectives. The man who was killed was said to be in his late 50s. Police haven't released any names in this case, and there's no word on the kind of gun used in the shooting.